Happening today, specially trained census takers will be hitting the streets to count people who are currently homeless. WCPO 9 News reporter Ali Kramer joins us live on uh, kind of the intricate nature of this job for these census takers who've, who've had to get creative this whole season. Good morning, Ali. Good morning, Julie. And now there's sort of this renewed uh, push because uh, the deadline for the census is fast approaching. The deadline was originally July. It was pushed back to the end of October in order to uh, allow people more time during the pandemic. Well, now it's been pushed up to the end of September, so just about a week away. And the inspector general is actually taking a closer look at why that deadline was moved. Uh, he says that really cutting it short really could cause a problem and a risk uh, to the accuracy of the results of the census. In fact, federal judges right now are hearing arguments this week to extend the deadline once again back to October in order for minority communities to be counted. That's why the special census takers are working today to count people at local homeless shelters, soup kitchens and mobile food stops. They're working with local social service agencies to make sure that everyone is counted. And it's important to get that accurate count because the numbers can dictate what services are provided in our community, including funding for some of those social services and even schools. Now, if you haven't filled out the 2020 census just yet, uh, someone probably won't be coming to your door with the deadline fast approaching. If you didn't remember getting it in the mail and sending it back in, it's really easy to do online as well. All you have to do is go to 2020census.gov. For now, reporting live, Allie Kramer, WCPO 9 News.